All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's see. All right, cool. So it's a new year. Happy New Year. Hope that your year is off to a great start. And what I want to do is maybe start taking a little bit of time to reflect and talk a little bit about some of the um, you know, books that I'm reading, some of the resources that I'm finding um, particularly helpful. Um, and so one of those resources has been this here. So this is Virgil Abloh Figures of Speech. And, you know, it's got, uh, there's a lot in here. I think, you know, I just, I got it. And then I just went through it and kind of skimmed the pictures and looked at all of the, you know, just, I mean, there, there's just some intense stuff in here. It's really good. Highly recommend it. Um, but this second time around, I kind of went through and like actually read what's there and like actually got a chance to, you know, see what was, you know, what, what were, what were the words, what was being talked about. And I think, you know, the takeaway there is, is that there's so many takeaways, but one important idea is, you know, this kind of idea of like representing something bigger than yourself. So we all have a brand, we all have some type of mission, you know, but like, what is the thing that, you know, we kind of speak to that's like bigger than us, that's going to be uh, motivating to us on, you know, any particular given day? What are those things that, you know, maybe we're speaking to a specific group, but like, what's something that like anyone could potentially could relate to? And I think, you know, as I go through it, it's really important uh, to to have you know, that is like a pillar with whatever work that we're doing. You know, I think just kind of hearing or reading the interviews, um, there's like sections in here with like interviews from, uh, you know, just like his contemporaries or people that worked with him, you know, and I mean, the the inspiration part here or the the role models, you know, just showing like as a child, what his role models were all the way through adulthood and how those change. And, you know, as, as brand owners, you know, that's something that we have to take into consideration too, you know, how, what is the relationship with our customer or with our fans, with our followers, as we, you know, as we evolve, you know, will they continue to, you know, evolve with us or are they evolving, you know, in a separate direction, et cetera. You know, and another, I think another point that, um, and I'm kind of halfway through it as far as like going back through the actual content to, to read it. But, you know, I, I think just the level of vision and just detail and just, you just get this sense of like, for me, I'm like getting stuff out of my head and like getting it on paper or getting it, you know, on a laptop or even creating it in the physical world, just that speed from like idea to execution, idea to execution. I think that theme is just, you know, very consistent throughout. And yeah, I think it is is wonderful. I've I've read a lot of books also like just in 2022 in general that I feel like have really, you know, kind of had a, a good impact on me. Um, you know, I think operationally, I mean, these aren't in any particular order or anything, but just thinking about where can we go to get information? Where can we go to, you know, maybe close any gaps? You know, anything around process and systems for me has been really good. So uh, Traction, uh, that's a book about, you know, having a vision, you know, whether you're a visionary or an integrator, you know, I think it really talks to you know, how can you close those gaps? I'm definitely highly visionary. So um, there's an assessment that you can take. I believe it's uh, crystallizer assessment is the name of it. But it basically will give you a number. And that number is going to tell you where you where you fall. 
Are you more visionary where you're good with ideas or are you more an integrator where you're better with maybe like operations and execution? It's important to kind of figure out where do you land on that spectrum because then you can figure out like how you feel about certain things. Like I know for me, I have to work extra hard on the execution part because I know I'm, I'm more visionary and I, I can see things, but I have to actually get it done. So that means I need to kind of overcompensate for like making sure I have lists or making sure that I have some type of, you know, structure to my day or like planning my day the night before, you know, these are all, you know, um, things that are like a result or byproduct of, you know, basically self-awareness. Um, you know, another thing with traction that's been really good is just like working with the team. So if you have teammates that have certain numbers, everyone has, you know, this thing called a rock. So the rock is like something that you're bringing into a quarter and really just this, this idea of like chunking down a year into something more um, manageable, like a quarter or, or a 90 day window is like really, you know, important. And, and I think it's helped me a lot just over maybe the last 24 to 36 months as I've started to implement um, things from another book called 12 Week Year. You know, 12 Week Year has been a really good book that I've I've had to reread. I've reread both of these books a couple times just to kind of like grasp everything that's there, you know, because when you look at it, it's everyone waits till the end of the year and then they, they're ready to go or it's like the beginning of the year and everyone's ready to get back in the gym or whatever it is. But um, when you break it down as a 12 week year, what if what if you're like always kind of operating that way throughout the whole year and you're not like waiting, you know, 365 days to do that. And that's kind of the idea. And it's just really good, actionable, you know, I would say tools in there. There's exercises that, you know, I've been able to like take away. Another good, you know, these are all kind of, I would say more so business books, but, you know, let's say, um, you know, Profit First, you know, Profit First is a really good book too. Had to go through that a couple of times, but, you know, kind of starts with, you know, the basic concepts, you know, paying yourself first you know, making sure you're kind of separating certain accounts, making sure you're, you know, kind of, uh, you know, kind of accounting for things in a way that will allow you to, you know, be organized and, you know, be structured. So, you know, I think that's been a really good one. Um, you know, I think some of the classics too, you know, I, you know, rereading, uh, you know, Rich's Man in Babylon. You know, I think that's always, it's always good to just like keep certain books like that, just rereading them over and over again. And, you know, I don't think you can ever read them enough. Uh, Thinking Grow Rich, rereading that, that's been really good. You know, and I, I would say, I think of some other really good ones. Um, I really liked Ready, Fire, Aim. You know, that was a, you know, kind of like from starting where you are to, you know, multiple hundreds of millions of dollars in sales. Like it kind of shows you, the mindset that you have to have at each phase and like how you need to approach things, how you need to think about things. Um, you know, currently you know, I'm reading, what am I reading? I'm reading something called, I think it's called the road less stupid by Keith Cunningham, I believe that's a good, very good book, you know, and he kind of breaks down the idea of, you know, let's take time to think, and let's have like a specific question or a set of questions that we want to address in that thinking time. And so it's kind of the theme is like have better questions of ourselves to get better results and better answers. You know, and I mean, he's got some really good um, things in there. One thing that kind of stood out to me was a is a point from Warren Buffett in there. He says, you know, Warren Buffett apparently was golfing one day and. I think he might have been golfing with Warren Buffett. And it turned out that Warren Buffett was supposed to, um, you know, he had some kind of shot and they were they were going to take a bet on this shot, whether, you know, he could make it or not. And I mean, it was kind of a no brainer, I guess. You know, it was like, let's say it was ten thousand dollars or something. And Warren did not agree to the bet. You know, he says, um, you know why? And they asked him, "Why wouldn't you agree to this bet?" I mean, that you pretty much have a sure shot. You know, it's like one in, you know, several thousand chance of like, I guess, getting it. And you know, his rationale was like, "If I make this bet, 
on something that I kind of already have my mind set up uh, like for and I have a system for thinking about it and processing it, I have a mental model, then this will spill over, <clears throat> excuse me, into other areas. So basically the concept of how you do one thing is how you do everything. That's what he was saying in that moment. He was saying, you know, I'm not going to, if I bet this on this small deal, then that's basically going to affect me over here on a bigger deal, you know, something that's like billions of dollars, you know, so I, I thought that was really, that was really key. And that I don't even, that's not even really the main takeaway of the book, but that was just, you know, one little thing. And that that's kind of, you know, I think that's something to really consider is like, whether it's a call, whether it's a program, whether it's a course, you know, what are like, what's one thing that can be taken away and applied, you know, and sometimes it's the actual thing that the whole program is about or the whole book is about, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's, you know, it's just simply something that, you know, it's like just a gem just dropped and, you know, you pick it up and, you know, from there you're able to, you know, turn that into something else. So, you know, I think I've taken a lot of courses, you know, this year too. I've, you know, been lots of, been in lots of mentorship and, you know, lots of, um, you know, coaching programs. I've learned a lot from a lot of individuals, a lot of people that have, um, you know, kind of, you know, had specific, you know, let's say, you know, expertise in an area that you know, I may need help with. And, you know, I've been able to get a ton of advice, a, a ton of um, support. So probably need to break that down in like a separate video, you know, definitely events, you know, I've been going to events, those have been really fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, so like live events or like in person events, seminars, things like that, being around people that are you know, making things happen, people that are, um, you know, steps ahead, people that have, um, you know, already solved certain challenges that I may uh, already have. And you know, I think that's kind of like what it's about. It's like getting around the right people, getting around, um, you know, people that can, um, you know, stretch, you know, our thinking, stretch what we're about. So um, I think that, you know, this will be a short live and just, you know, felt compelled, you know, I want to you know, maybe get on here and start talking a little bit, sharing what I know, sharing what I can help with. And, you know, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to shoot me a DM, shoot me an email. Um, you know, we're still doing corporate orders. You know, we're, you know, we really focus on, you know, corporate sales. You know, we do a lot of um, projects for some of the world's biggest brands and, you know, help them with, you know, either turning their trash into products that consumers can use for whether it's employee gifts or client gifts. And then, you know, we also do client gifts um, uh, made from the corporate trash. So if the company has its trash, then, you know, we'll basically turn that stuff into, um, we will turn that stuff into products. So, you know, if you, you know, if you work at a company, you know, and you, you know, you have a day job and you, you know that they're going to be placing an order for Earth Day or you know that they're going to be doing something with regards to um, maybe like Q4 of 2023 and they're, they're going to be ordering gifts, you know, reach out. Don't don't hesitate to um, get in contact. We will, um, you know, we, we can work something out. We'll work out a uh, we'll work out an affiliate commission. We'll work out you know some type of um, media, something that can be a benefit to you if you're, you know, I know you can't always like you know, accept a payment of sorts, but, you know, we'll make sure that, you know, you are whole in terms of, you know, sending the um, the lead our way because we definitely appreciate it. It could be just, you know, something cool with product. So, um, yeah, and other than that, you know, DM me if you have any questions. Um, if I can be of any service, I would love to, and, you know, we'll go from there. <laughs>